So hi everyone, it's Bonnie Terry here with our Waking the Scholar Within call and it is a lovely Monday evening here. And then we're going to talk about multiplication. When, when I do multiplication tables, when I'm t trying to teach my kids their tables, first we want to establish that they really understand what is happening. What, is, what does one times one mean? For example, if I have one times one, that means I've got one box. I've just got one thing one time. If I have one times two, now I've got two of them. So this amount here is going to be one times two, this amount up here. If I had one times three, I'm going to have one group three times. Does that make sense? Yeah. If I were to be saying two times two, that means I have to have a set of two, and I need to have them, that same set two times. So that would be one times two. If I have two times two, I need to have two of those groups. So does that make sense there? Yeah. yeah. So that you're starting to see how much space it takes up. So then you want to have that concept down of, of what does it mean, how much space does it take. So if I just have one group of something on the ones, you know, one times one is going to be one, one times two is going to be two, one times three is going to be three, one times four is going to be four, and so on. So the ones are typically really easy. The, the next group that is typically pretty easy are the, are the twos because we count by twos so frequently. So learning the twos is usually not a huge, hard, horrible thing. But even that being said, we're going to start with the twos. And what I do is I always start with two groups, two families, so that I have one that's you know pretty easy and one that maybe isn't quite so easy. And I always do them in sequential order. And I kind of call these, so what I'm going to do then, and we would read through them three or four times each, and we'd only do two families at a time. That's the real critical thing, is to not do more than two families at a time. And we always, 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 how often do we do this next thing? Always. Always. Do them in sequential order because you're going to start seeing some patterns when you're doing it in sequential order. So we're going to just go down the twos. Two times zero is zero. Two times one is two. Two times two is four. Two times three is six. Two times four is eight. Two times five is 10. Two times six is 12. Two times seven is 14. Two times eight is 16. Two times nine is 18. Two times 10 is 20. And we're going to go ahead and do that three times. So I'm going to do it a second time, and then we'll go on to the next one. Two times two is zero. Two times one is two. Two times two is four. Two times three is six. Two times four is eight. Two times five is ten. Two times six is twelve. Two times seven is fourteen. Two times eight is sixteen. Two times nine is eighteen. Two times ten is twenty. So I would do a, go through it one more time. And then I'm going to do one additional thing here, do what we call count bys. Because I've already said 2 times 2 is 0, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 7 is 14, 2 times 8 is 16, 2 times 9 is 18, 2 times 10 is 20. And I'm going to just count by the answers, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And I'm going to do that one more time. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Then I'm going to go over and do the same thing with the 3's. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 5 is 15, 3 times 6 is 18, 3 times 7 is 21, 3 times 8 is 24, 3 times 9 is 27, 3 times 10 is 30. I'm going to repeat the whole thing 
two more times, so a total of three times. And then I'm going to just do what I call count bys with the answers. 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. So that's the first thing. And we're going to be using those same ideas on the next couple of sheets. So I'm going to go through all of that. When you get really good at the twos and threes, and remember, you typically kind of know the twos up front. Most kids, even by the time they're in first and second grade, have learned how to count by twos. So if you can count by twos, you actually know those tables. So when you get really good at them, you're going to drop the twos off and you're going to keep the threes. Remember, you've been working with the threes now, so you're, you're pretty darn good at them. And you're going to do the threes and fours. So you're going to stay with one family that you're pretty good at because you've been practicing it. You've maybe spent a whole week on it. So then you're going to be keeping with the threes and adding the fours and doing the same exact thing where you are saying them three times each, the whole thing out, and then you are going to just do the count by. So does that make sense? Okay. And when you count, you count three times as well? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then, it, you know, I mean, you all have super spacers. This is another thing that you can do with the super spacers as you put you can have all the problems on the left and all of the answers on the right, or you can mix them up as I did here. And I'm going to change my pen color. And I have to do some matching. So, whoop, so 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 5 is 10, and 2 times 2 is 4. And it's, it's just so your, your kids can just point to them, or you can use little pieces of, of string or yarn for them for matching, those kinds of things. So you can do a matching activity with that. Then you're going to be doing, and I'm just going to show you, I know you have a lesson with this already, you're going to practice with some actual problems. And what we're going to be using is our touch points here. If I'm multiplying by, by 2 here, I'm going to count by 2's on the touch points. 2, 4. I know I'm right because I followed the dots. 2, 4, 6. I know I'm right because I followed the dots. 2, 4, 6, 8. I know I'm right because I followed the dots. So do you see how I'm using the answers I, that we just counted by in that? Does that make sense, Elaine? Yeah. So that's why while location effects are basically learning how to count by twos and count by threes and count by fours, and, and most people also know how to count by fives, so that's going to be an easy one, and then sixes and sevens, eights, and nines. Uh, and, of course, the tens are easy. Then we're going to do some additional practice with the, the count bys. And these are on the math lessons where we're going to be finding the multiples of twos. And they have the numbers all up here. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And so I'm going to go like this. 0, 2, 4. 6, 8, whoops, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And I'm going to do it four more times. So this, in addition to practicing the counting by of the twos, which is going to help with the multiplication of twos, is also a tracking exercise. So we're, you know, killing two birds with one stone, so to speak. These sheets are also with lessons. So we also have the same sheet, but now with the threes, and we have with the fours.
and you know I have them all the way up through the tent. Mm -hmm. So it's just another way of practicing them. Okay. Mm -hmm.